Welcome back to another video. We're now on to chapter eight, the morning after the night before. So if you're ready, sit back and I will begin. So the morning after the night before, as they say, and off we venture out with my lovely, newly acquired pink bucket hat with I love Corfu on. I needed something to get the sun off my head with this blinded hangover. Now I'm not a great fan of drinking water, but that day I came to appreciate it forever. And by late afternoon, I felt a wee bit better. Even with the flashbacks and still tasting the vomit in my mouth. Nice, I know. As we got our showers and ready to go out, Jason started filling in the blanks from the night before. He said, do you remember chatting up those girls? What girls? You know, the ones that have been smiling at us the last few nights. The blonde one and her mate. All oh, right, I said. We're meeting them tonight for a drink. Did you have to mention drink, I said. More flashbacks. So tarted up to the hill and smelling like a booked perfume aftershave counter, off we trot for a bit of food before our date night. Thankfully, I managed to keep a little bit of food down. So after food, we head to the bar and the girls are there. We did the greetings and got a drink. First of all, they remind me of the night before and the state I was in. More blanks filled in. Thankfully, nothing too stupid. One of the girls says, oh, look, there's my mum and dad. My God, I thought. Hello, lads, dad says. Hello there, we said. So which one of you were a bit worse for wear last night, he said. I thought, bloody hell, does the whole of Sadari know? That would be me, sir. <laughs> so we had a drink. Then they said, have fun, you young uns, as they left. Must admit, knowing the parents there made me feel a little bit awkward and uneasy. Anyway, we bumped into the Geordie girls and I've never been so pleased to see them. That I was that night. As the night went on, we kind of lost two of the girls, which looking back makes me feel a little bad. But we were not just not comfortable with the situation. We did see them later with some Scottish lads. We did ask if they were okay, being genuine nice lads we were. It was important to look out for others, especially when you're in another country. But it certainly was a strange evening. In the disco, we get our dancing shoes on again and have a great end to the night, along with the Scottish girls, we see three Geordie lasses. What a scream they were. It was all fantastic fun. We arranged to meet our Scottish friends the following day, as it's both our last full day and night of the holiday. Oh, I hear you say. They have been such a big part of our holiday. So in the morning breaks of our last full day in Sadari has arrived. I thought it would have flown, but actually the holiday seemed to go on and on and on in a great way. My bites had cleared up in a few days. And for the most, I got news of the July heat. However, I was still like a milk bottle, white, as far as tanning went. But hey, it's not all about that. It's about making memories and friends and the journey of life. So we did a bit of shopping, a few presents and keepsakes to take home. It was in order. I decided to buy this gold chain, a solid thick one, and the price was too good to be true. Of course. I asked the question, is that real gold? Yes, yes, of course. But don't get it wet, and wait a while after you put on your perfume. Putting on perfume? Being young and wet behind the ears, I bought it, of course. Money well spent. Not. We split from the girls and both parties go back to our respective digs to prepare for one more night down the Sadari Strip. So ready we were for our last night of Sadari fun and games. We head out to meet the girls with me wearing my new gold chain, thinking I'm some Rockefeller. We bump in to the Geordie girls first and within minutes, one of them takes a shine to my chain. Can I wear it? Me being a soft sod. Yeah, sure. As we are sat there having a beer, these lads walk past with just trousers and a dicky bow on. Some kind of Chippendales, Chippendales, I guess. To be fair, they had the bodies for it. 
unlike me, it's a fair play. In come our Scottish girls, and away we all go, up the road to another bar. And another, t another, till it's that time to hit the dance floor one last time. KLF rings out once more, 3am eternal, and we go crazy dancing. Anyway, I remember the DJ playing the Flower of Scotland, so our Scottish girls were happy. So we were all singing along to that, till the dreaded lights come on, and it's time to leave. But this time, it would be for the last time. We hung outside as a big group for a wee while before we walked the girls back. And as much as I would love to say it was a lustful ending, it wasn't. But to be fair, we had become great friends. And I think if anything had happened, it might have ruined the holiday we had had. Boys and girls can be just friends. So we made the trek for the last time back to our digs. And tomorrow we head home. Thanks for watching guys. Chapter eight coming up next, the voyage home. And I hope you can join me for that. But on that, thanks for watching as always. And thanks for supporting the channel. Take care, look after yourself and those around you. Until the next video.